Let's use Kepler's law to determine the total mass of all the matter inside of the Milky Way, inside of the sun's radius. So what do we need to know? Remember Kepler's law is p squared is equal to a cubed, where a is the semi-major axis P is the period. And remember, there's Newton's modification, which is what allows us to determine the mass, which is m, the mass of this object. And remember, this is true where the semi-major axis is written in astronomical units, the period is written in years, and the mass is written in solar masses. So another way to write this formula that takes this all into account is p over year squared is equal to a over astronomical unit cubed times the mass in units of the solar mass. So we want to find this mass. So what we can do is we can multiply both sides by mass and we can divide both sides by periods. That cancels off this, this cancels off that, and we're left with the expression that m is equal to the semi-major axis in astronomical units times the period in years, one over that squared, and the whole answer is in solar masses. So let's use this formula to get the answer. I'm just going to write it like this, but I know that I need to put this in units of astronomical unit and this in units of years. So we already found what the orbital time of the Milky Way was. The period is 220 million years. So what we need to do is we just need to find the semi-major axis and put that in astronomical units. Well the semi-major axis, since it's a circular orbit, is the same as the radius. So the radius is 8 kiloparsecs which we already converted last time into kilometers. If you've used unit, the, if you're good at unit conversion, then you can probably take care of yourself. Otherwise, I've already done that in a different video. So we just need to convert this into astronomical units. So you can look this up that um, one astronomical unit is the same as 1.5 times 10 to the eighth kilometers, which means that this whole thing is 1.64 times 10 to the ninth astronomical units. So this is the radius. And since in this is circular orbit, the radius and the same major axis is the same thing. So I just need to plug in here. The mass is 1.64 times 10 to the ninth. Oh. Yep, cubed, divided by the period of 220 million years squared. I plug that in, and what do I get? 9.1 times 10 to the 10th solar masses, or about 90 billion mass solar masses. So that's a lot of stuff inside the galaxy.